I'd like to introduce the Director of the Security and Networking Division of NCSA and co-PI of the Bro Project, Adam Slagle. Uh, first, thank you to everyone who stayed from uh, the Ren Isaac members meeting. It's great to have you here. I think it was a great idea of Warren's to join that um, meeting along with BroCon this year. And I'm happy to host it back here once again at NCSA. I'm not going to talk a lot about NCSA, but um, we're one of the original NSF supercomputing centers. We were established in 1986, um, but we do a lot more than supercomputing here. Um, we support cyber infrastructure from you know, computing to software to data visualizations, uh, provide a lot of the identity management needs for a lot of the cyber infrastructure for the nation's scientists and engineers, and we do quite a bit. Um, and if you're at all interested, of course, I'm always hiring networking and security people too, so feel free to talk to me. Um, so one question. I get every year, um, probably from at least a dozen people stopping me you know, during the breaks and during the different um, uh, intermissions, is how can I help? And then really I wanted to be a little more prepared and, and preempt that and talk about it for a couple minutes here because more than ever I think that's important this year. This is the last year um, that we're being supported by the National Science Foundation. Um, and as that money is you know, slowly being spent down and we're ramping down, uh, we are going to depend more and more on the community for con contributions back. Um, one obvious way that I want to encourage people to help is creating bro packages. We'll have, uh, I think Seth is going to talk a little bit about bro package um, again this conference. There'll be a website coming soon um, that you should be looking for and you know it's a general strategy. We're going to, to start using ourselves more and in the next release we're going to move some of the optional scripts and other content out into Bro Package as well. So install it, it's real easy, it's just it's in pip, uh, and start using it and you know that's one great way to contribute. <clears throat> Another thing that's very helpful is you know we're, we depend on the community to help each other on the mailing list and the mailing list and IRC channels and all those things are extremely active and I encourage everybody to help each other out there. Um, there's a lot of experience in our community. I mean, we always look for documentation. That's great. Um, hosting BroCon. Uh, we've had some very great hosts over the past years and TAC and MIT and other places. Um, you know, come talk to me or someone on the leadership team if you're interested in hosting. And of course, you know, there's always, you know, you could directly fund the project. We do have some different sponsors and uh, a program of sponsorship that we outline. So. You know, please come talk to me too if you're interested. I'm not trying to keep people away, but uh, I wanted to get this out there and answer this question in front of everyone this year. <clears throat> Speaking of sponsorships, I did want to thank all of our sponsors. A lot of these sponsors, maybe all of them, I think, um, have been sponsors before, and we re really rely on you to help with BroCon and other things. Uh, Packet Sled and Corelight and Bricada. Um, Amazon, Acumet, and Napatech, all of you, thank you very much um, for sponsoring us once again and supporting the community. So we have a big announcement. Um, last year, the panel, um, if you were at uh, BroCon last year, we spent quite a bit of time talking about the project, the project name, and I felt that, you know, the leadership team in general felt that we had a mandate to come back and to think about this and to answer this question. So there were concerns about the name for various reasons and <clears throat> it had become a, an issue that bubbled up over recent years. And so, you know, we have actually, you know, it took us quite a few meetings and with nine people involved on the leadership team, you know, it's quite a cat herding exercise. Um, but we've decided we're actually going to uh, change the name of the project. So I don't, it's not easy, that's for sure, especially anybody who's looked at the code and seen how often Bro is referenced and how many uh, Bro portmanteaus we have across the uh, software and different dependencies and packages. Um, but it's, we think it's the right thing to do. Uh, it's, it's not just because it removes that uncomfortable first conversation, you know, what is Bro, 
where, what is this bro con you're going to and you want me to pay for? <laughs> um, but I think it's most importantly, it reflects our values of inclusion and diversity, and it's an important change to make. Um, I don't know how far yet exactly we'll take it. You know, we, if we're going to change every single function name within the code or not, or how far to go, but, you know, that's to be determined. So, you probably thought I was going to announce a name. <laughs> you were wrong. <laughs> um, it was hard enough to, to finally come to a resolution on, on to change the name, and we would actually like to get input from the community. And so, what I'm announcing here, rather than a name change, is a, a process that we're going to follow. Uh, so, we're going to crowdsource ideas from the community, from all of you and, and everyone else. Uh, and you can expect a Google form or something after the conference that we'll tweet out, we'll put on the mailing list and things like that to start soliciting different ideas here. Um, we'll do that for a couple months, and then the leadership team is going to narrow that down to um, five sort of finalists. And then we're going to take those and we're going to ask for input and rankings and other things from the community on that. Um, and the leadership team will decide and pick the absolute finalists. And there's a lot of things that go into this. You know, one of the things that uh, is, can we get the domain name? Can we afford it? Are there trademark issues? And this is why we can't have a final timeline on when to do this, because we're going to have to look at all those sorts of issues, and, and there are numerous ones. But expect this survey to come out after BroCon. Um, We'll be doing the name change not until the next major release. So if we do a 2.5.2, we're not going to do it for that. <clears throat> um, but feel free to talk to me or anyone from the leadership team. Um, the list of everyone there, if you just go to the footer of our homepage, it says team at the bottom of the footer, it lists everyone out. Um, and feel free to talk to any of us about it and give us your ideas if you want. Um, 